on Divorce Court Today. A seven-year marriage has hit the rocks. Joanna says Charles spends too much time away from their family trying to be a rapper. He claims he has proof that she has been unfaithful. Joanna Ashford and Charles Elbert have brought their dispute for Judge Lynn Toler to resolve. Testimony in Divorce Court starts now. Ms. Ashford, you have brought Mr. Elbert here seeking a requirement that he sign a quick claim deed to the house over to you. You also want $3,000 uh, towards past mortgage payments, and we'll talk about that momentarily. Yes, and it is your contention that he spends too much time on his, and I quote, silly rap career. Can you tell me what's he doing uh, and why you find it silly? Well, to be honest with you, Your Honor, um, I thought that it, this would be something that if it didn't take off for him, that he would see, you know, that I would still need to be responsible mm -hmm. and uh, dedicate the finances accordingly. Mm -hmm. We would have arguments over money consistently throughout our relationship. That was one of the main problems. Yeah, yeah, but I understand, however, even though he was aspiring to be a rapper, he also is a warehouse supervisor. Is that is that yes, correct? Yes, ma'am. So with that job, uh, Mr. Elbert, were you assisting in the household, or was that all going towards equipment and crystal and whatever other rappers be believe they need to have I'm not a heavy drinker. out the gate? I'm not a heavy drinker. No. Okay. Uh, it was more like I make enough money, so... Whatever I took care of for his responsibility at home first, whatever I have left, left over, over would go I to put the career. My rap career. Okay. So it wouldn't be that much, mm -hmm. you know. So fifty dollars to give me a song recorded. If I had it to spur, I wouldn't record it a song. What distresses you most about Mr. Elbert? I mean, you painted a picture in your petition of a guy who was uncaring, he didn't show you enough attention, he's not being the right kind of father that somebody's just kind of out there doing other things and, and, and not well, uh, doing things at home. Tell me honest, why you feel that to way. To be honest with you, Your Honor, he is a great guy. I love my husband. The bad side is that what we've come to be now, Your Honor. Which is? We argue all the time. We can't get along. No one listens to anyone. We don't hear each other out. He won't seek counseling. It's like all bad at this point. So the reason you saw what I was saying in the beginning as far as it being bad, because that's where we are now. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, it was a little rough, mm -hmm. but I thought it was workable. Right. And as time went on and years go by, you know, people change, we grow apart, and for now, this, this is where we are. Give we me an example of something that's going on in your house that will give me a picture of the distress that you're feeling. I can give you an example from out the gate when we were working together. Mm -hmm. I got him the job, Your Honor, at a position where my friend was over the office where they pulled the applications, right? And he was qualified to work in a factory, so she pulled him and some friends of his in. Then when I needed to work, I had to go there. I, I humbled myself, too. And we all were working at this facility. I had never done anything to my husband. I had never stepped out on him or anything. When people at the job that was of the opposite sex would come to me and talk to me at my side, if any male come by and say, hey, Joanna, or just small talk me, my husband will fly off the handle. And we were just dating even then. We would have these verbal outbursts at the job, which eventually got him fired. Mr. Elbert, is that accurate? That's accurate. It's very true. I, you know, I'm... At the time, I was a young man into a relationship with right. this woman. So right. I really wasn't in tune into feelings or in tune to myself what make me mad, what my woman would do in front of me. Fools mm -hmm. talking to another male or whatever. If you laughing, joking at a job, you're supposed to be working. You know, too much 10, 15 minute conversation of you laughing and joking. It turned into me looking on the outside, looking in. What are you talking about? That's uh -huh. so funny. Uh huh. Had so. she ever given you any, any inkling, any indication that she was someone? who would be unfaithful yeah, to I you. just feel like if we, we're, if we had 
uh, communication problems for us. We not understanding where we coming from. But mm -hmm. then we at work. I see you talking to this guy. You accuse me of doing things for us, my rap thing or whatever I'm doing. It just it just it fuels fire to say, okay, why well, you keep pointing and looking at what I'm doing? Why you keep talking to these certain people at my job or who or all up in your face? Well, what was she woo woo wooing at you about at the rap career? What was her being what was her club, complaint? She like if I'm going to the clubs, doing performances, being out on stage. Of course, opposite sex females there I may know, grew up with, or remember me from back when I used to do rap in high school. I run across a lot of people. You know, it's never been like I'm trying to talk to them or uh, uh, share time with them. It's always been fan to rapper artist basics. I'll um, show you love. I got to be open and talk sure. to the public. I have to be friendly. I have yes. to be approachable. So right. I can't be a stuck up guy, but I, I want you to buy my CD. Did you find it distressing that he was? amenable and likable to his fans because you, you can't be a jerk and, and sell music. Your Honor, no, actually, I love that about my husband, Charles. He has a sense of humor that we both bounced off of each other. That was actually the thing that held the jail together. That but I'm talking about, did you ever get angry with him because of the congenial nature he had with other women? Right, because it comes to 2 a.m., it comes to 3 a.m. It comes to, like, long hours where only thing is my grandmother used to say is the wrong things going on, you know? But he's a rapper. They don't start work at noon. Right. <laughs> and I'm grown. You know, as yeah. long as I'm respecting how I'm not coming in. He don't in. want me to keep those hours. But you're not, you know, what if, you, you, if, you, if you were working third shift at a factory, those are the hours you keep. Rappers work at night. That's what they do. If he started rapping at 7.30 a.m., he's alone. <laughs> he's alone. D do you see what I'm telling I you? I, I went totally to work understand. from 7 in the morning to 7 at night. Then after work, I deal with my kids, deal with the house, deal with her if she's there to deal with mm -hmm. at this point. But you didn't have any kids when no, I you I, uh, no, got I into not. this relationship. No, ma'am. And she already had four. She already had a ready-made family. Did he try to be a good dad? Was he? Did he take on that role? He did. He did a great job. He uh, actually... That's a lot to ask of somebody, to take four that's, kids that's from somebody. Lot. Whole lot to ask. Right. And his mom asked him when we first started dating, like, on the phone, I could hear through the receiver, she was like, what, it, what are you going to do with a young lady with four kids? Right. Because I'm older than him. Right. And and so um, I asked him when he hung up, I said, what are you going to do? Because clearly, you know, we really didn't have a plan right. when we set out to start today. But he did the right thing. He did the right thing. I don't let no one control my life. My mom, dad, sister, friend, it's my decision. It and if you're going to do it, you're going to do gonna it right. I'm going to do it, and I did it and well. You, and you don't deny that. I don't deny that. Okay. You yeah. don't deny that. Next, did a photo Charles found on Joanna's phone start a fire she can't put out? Divorce isn't easy. If you need help with your breakup, call toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Real life, real relationships, real solutions. Divorce Court continues. I'm going to tell you what I see, Ms. Ashford, and then I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. I see you got yourself a young, good-looking guy who was willing to walk into a relationship with a ready-made family of four. And they were young then, too, yes, which is a lot of work. He took a job in a warehouse and... Uh, contributed to the household. He, he was still trying to pursue his dreams, but was holding it down at the house. What I'm going to ask you is, there was a time that you contend that you felt you were unappreciated and unloved by this man, which caused you to do some, some, some inappropriate things. Tell me what he wasn't doing and what you were feeling that made you so unhappy. To be honest with you, Your Honor, um, I was still growing within myself in that moment as well. Mm -hmm. And it was mistakes. I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. We were basically trying to assist family members with a major issue that happened. Someone almost lost their life. Mm -hmm. And we uh, 
band together as a family to support. And in the midst of all of that, it was a lot of neglect. It was a lot of frustration he was dealing with because it was close to home for him. Other things started to snowball and uh, we weren't in tune to one another no more. Like we were like basically out of tune. Like we weren't Roll spending mates. time together. We, we was wasn't doing it. You were just we were just we was there. circling each other. We were you doing weren't... what we had to do for us. The family stand together for he us. He was the playing the games, nice not on in, really, your honor. He not wasn't really seeing the confrontation with us. So right. I went to my section of the house. Everybody went to the their game. own corner. She in her room. Right. I'm down playing the game. I spent more time with the kids when I get off work. I really really wasn't engaging. Okay. Really wasn't engaging. And your response to that was. Like, you keep dancing around it. I'm, I'm not trying to dance around. I'm trying to answer the question the best way I can. What did you do? What I did was I stepped out on my husband. I did that. You, I, you had an affair. I did, yes, ma'am. You had an affair. Yes, ma'am. When divorce court continues, is there a way for Joanna to mend Charles's broken heart? Do you think Joanna has good reason to question what Charles does as a rapper? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call now. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. And join the conversation on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court continues. Mr. Elbert, how did you find out about the affair that your wife had? Well, of course, you, you know, you get suspicious of things. You know, mm -hmm. you, you know when your woman's not acting accordingly. Right. You know, you can tell a change in a person. Right. I'm in tune with people. So if I'm around you enough, I know your routine. I know what you're about. So... You know, I got a text message, saw it, tried to work on it, but it didn't really work because I, me, I was hurt. Because once I saw that, it made me investigate her. So I'm, I did everything. But not only that, I, I helped with the situation. Mm -hmm. When I seen she was cheating or whatever she was doing, I started cheating. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of being a leaving, unless leaving it at, at with her being wrong, I added to her. Added to it, got angry and got said, well, angry, you gonna so do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do something, too. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a rapper, though. Right. Yeah, you have... It's, it's so easy. And people who like you or really own you, they groupies. Of course, they're gonna be everywhere you say you're gonna Did be. Did you two ever try to mend fences? After you found out about the affair, or did you just go out and retaliate and it just all blew up? To be honest with you, I didn't tr truthfully give it a chance. A, sh a shot. Like, uh -huh. once I saw what I saw, it was like, in my mind, I'm getting you back. Basically. You're asking him to quit claim his interest in the house to you. Yes, ma'am. And you also want $3,000 towards mortgage because he left a year and a half ago. Yes. And you have had to pay the entire mortgage for that time. Explain to me why you believe I should award you those things. We both did wrong in this situation. <clears throat> Thank you. We both made mistakes. We both, you know, stepped out on each other. We got kids. Yeah. We you have one together. Right. Who is seven, seven. now? Seven years old. Yeah. Great kid. All of them. Love him to death. And so my thing is, why would you see a need and we're your family still, and step away and just leave me hanging. Like, don't leave me hang out the dry. I wouldn't do that to you. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. What kind of contributions economically was he making while he was there? Both of us make almost the same amount of money, but he's a little more than me. So he makes, um, I would say, about 2400 a month. Okay, I got, I got you. Mr. I, I want to talk about money for a minute. She wants you to pay $3,000 because she believes you've abandoned the household right. and left her hanging dry I will to pay to all those fact, bills. Talk I admit to the fact that I did leave her hanging, right. but I didn't leave my kids hanging. And you see, if I, they needed anything... You were right there. Right there. If she want to go half on a program they want to do, I'm right there. Anything for is helping you out. As I'm not... A, I'm not obligated to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm my not, I really feel that and way. And I accumulated these bills together. He was still in the home on the couch for a long time, still living there. I would have to get into an argument with him on Thursdays when he would get paid, Your Honor, just to get some type of money out of him. He would start just penny pinching me, like as if he is unaware or oblivious to what the bills are. I got you. Judge Lynn Toller's ruling next. Divorce Court, Judge Lynn Toller's ruling right now. Ms. Ashford, do you acknowledge, however, if there is a activity, a bill, food, something for the kids that he has been uh, more than willing to contribute? He thinks, Your Honor, that clothes and shoes for our seven-year-old son is providing when mm -hmm. he lives with me. And so, therefore, he doesn't feel responsible. Like, for instance, the mortgage. I'm working trying to get a modification so I can not afford the home mm -hmm. because of the fact that he very well isn't even interested in anything that's going on with that aspect of the house. I'm, Do you I'm really... You know, I'm signing her the house to herself. She can have it. That's her bills and her... Situation. So you are ready to quit claim the house to her? She can have the house. She can have that. This How much equity do kids. you have in the house? I don't know. I didn't put money in the house. I'm not, I'm not, I, it's none of my concern anymore. Okay. Um, the reason why we got a house is for us to build the future for our kids. Right, right. It was for us to build, pay for a house, and leave it for them so when they get older, it's no, I'm looking somewhere to stay. Right. I'm staying here. We got a four or five bedroom house, finished basement, nice house, nice area, U City. It was for the kids. Okay. It was all a future plan. I got you. And that Let, plan got distorted. I'm not I, a part it of that. It got plan. destroyed. And you're, and you're very hurt by it. And I don't blame you. I mean, you came in a right guy, and, and, and she just, like, just, just went off the reservation. Here's my question to you. Do you understand that if she does, in fact, lose the house or, you know, your kids will not have a home? And that's why I'll sit and talk and discuss a different way of paying her. Mm -hmm. including that You're trying way. to get... You've gone to another court, though, and tried... and are currently seeking child support, correct? And that yes, is... Yes, ma'am, oh. because of the fact that I'm drowning in uh -huh. quicksand, and before I go homeless and I have somewhere to live, because it's not like I don't work, I do. Right. And the thing is, is that I pulled him up, mm -hmm. but you're gonna mm -hmm. let me drown. Okay. Let Mr. Elbert, let me ask you this. Do you thing. think that the child support amount that she is seeking is, uh... Inappropriate? Not fair. Child support, if you take her your child, child support, let me break it down for them. Child support is for people who don't take care of their kids, not spending time with them, not in their life, not coming around, say hi, bye, whatever. Get them for child support. Those are the guys who deserve to pay child support. Let me explain support. something to you about child support, and I understand how you feel completely. <sighs> it's I, not fair. I, 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 I really, really do. I understand. I want to make you feel a little bit better about it in that... Uh, you know, food and clothing and all that and, 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 and the lights and all of that, that contributes to your child's stability and, and to the extent that she needs help to maintain the home, that maintains a home for your child. Well, so that, I'm that's willing it. to... Here's if... my resolution. I, if the two of you mediate an economic solution that is good for you, Courts love that kind of thing. You go in and you ask, this is the agreement that we've come to with respect to visitation, with respect to obligations to the kids, with respect to extracurricular activities, all of that. You go to a mediator, you get it down on paper, and a judge will sign off on it, and you both will feel better about it because you're invested in that decision as opposed to letting some judge who don't know you from Adam and, and don't know you from Eve tell you exactly what to do. Okay, I'm going to order that you do see a divorce mediation expert. Okay. Because they do that outside of the court. Okay. I will order a quit claim deed over to you okay. that he will divest himself of any interest in there. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay? So, judgment in favor of Ms. Ashford on the quit claim deed. I am not giving you $3,000 on top of whatever you're chasing him for on child support. I'm expecting you two to get together act like the two reasonable people that you are and resolve that issue with your children and, and don't push him away with, with your anger and agitation. Uh, judgment in favor of Ms. Ashford on the House, uh, in favor of Mr. Elbert on the $3,000. It is so ordered. Thank you. Thank you.
Charles and Joanna have agreed with the judge to settle their financial issues without getting angry with each other. Post a comment or submit your case at divorcecourt.com or call toll-free 1-877-311-2222. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Divorce Court.